we're gonna probably go on a hike today so if you guys want to come along welcome to the adventure closet i'm liz and this is charlie we are two 80s and 90s kids that never lost their sense of wonder we're all over the map exploring wild and abandoned places discovering rocks geology and history of different areas all while living and traveling in our minivan opal I guess you can say our life is a mixtape of adventures. So hop in the van, hit the subscribe button, and let's go somewhere. Well, I think it's gonna be pretty people-y in here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people yeah, we were gonna get the sign, but there's like a lineup of people taking photos in front of it. So they have that cool shot. Um, and we came on a weekday too, so could be worse. If you park outside of the park, there is a free shuttle that'll take you through all of the uh, the park. So you, it says park once and see everything, basically. So it's like a, a city bus that goes through the park, which is kind of nice. I, I mean. Um, if you're like pulling a trailer or something or have a big rig that you don't want to go through the um, the park with, that's a great option. We're just saving gas, really. Yeah. All right, well, this is looking good. There's not a huge lineup, so I'm happy about that. Yeah. Hello. Oh, uh, yes, please. Thank you. New 14 sunset. Well, there's a, a couple of people here. You know, parking lot's pretty much full. Of you. <laughs> it's amazing. That's, and the lighting is perfect today. It's like not even perfect like lighting time. Yeah. But a little bit of clouds in the sky is perfect. Yeah. We're kind of like early mid afternoon. Yeah. Up there, it's just a bunch of spires and stuff that you're looking down upon. But once you come down in this trail, you realize how big some of these things are. Like, look at that way.
This is called Two Bridges. It's really nice, the uh, stark contrast between the red cliffs and the green trees. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is kind of a rare thing out in the desert to have trees and then these beautiful sandstone canyons. It's quite remarkable. No wonder it's a national park. So we're kind of at the halfway mark of the Navajo Loop Trail, but this goes to the Peekaboo Loop, which is supposed to be very cool. So that up there is Inspiration Point. Uh, we should check that out too. But there's a rim trail that goes all the way over, but I believe you can drive over to the Inspiration Point. I'm not sure, I'll have to look on the map. And uh, we are just starting our, dis our ascent back up from the bottom. Nice little trail, it's beautiful. Glad we could bring you along with us. If you pan down over here, this is probably the most productive wash in the park. And uh, looks mostly like sandstone, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, and um, you can't collect in national parks, uh, so, you can look, but you can't take. Yeah. But it's always interesting to watch for the rocks and minerals when you're in a certain area. Yeah, but most of the, the stuff on the ground here is from the beautiful cliffs up above. Mm -hmm. So it's eroded out under here on either side. But look how much rock is above when you stand right here. That's all above my head.
Yeah, it looks like nobody's here, but like 50 people just passed by. <laughs> Thank God I brought my inhaler. All right, we made it up. Oh, that's a little tiny chipmunk. Look at that guy. Oh, he's so cute. That's so good. I'm not afraid of people here because people keep feeding him. Um, <laughs> but that was pretty cool. So we're up here on Inspiration Point and right down there is the middle point of the hike we did earlier. This couple just hiked by us and they were talking about their dinner plans. They're having chili and potatoes. Doesn't that sound amazing? Yeah. I think we have the stuff to do it too. We do. Nice. Did we just get inspired to have chili and potatoes for dinner at Inspiration Point? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this place is so inspirational. <laughs> Yeah, it's a prairie dog. It's kind of blurry on my phone. Mm -hmm. I love them so much. All right, so we're trying to decide if we're gonna go on this drive that's gonna be super adventurous, but it's a lot of miles off-roading. It's 51 miles just to the road. And then it's like probably 50 plus miles on a dirt road that I've read if it gets wet and you even have aggressive tires in a four-wheel drive, you can't get there. Um, yeah, so we're gonna figure out if we should chance it and, and take the, the adventure road or go the, the highway route. Adventure, yes, highway, no. Aww. Aww. The adventure, the decision maker 5000 just said no to adventure. It's true. Perfect! And this is camp for the night, not too far out of Bryce Canyon. Pretty slanted, so that we had to use the leveling blocks. 
Um, good thing to have when you're in the van. Leveling yeah. blocks. And since it was way off, <laughs> he had to kind of make a ramp for them. You can kind of see it better with the black one over here. Taters. Onion. Soya. It's fake meat. Corn. So you want to batch cook when you're in van life so that you have leftovers so that it's easy to put in a Ziploc baggie and put it in your cooler, your fridge, and then you have a quick meal later so you don't have to bring all this stuff out. Tomato sauce! Ooh, la la. Pre-made chili seasoning! Because we're lazy! <laughs> we actually have all the stuff to make chili seasoning ourselves, but this is easier. <laughs> Beans! A musical fruit. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that smells so good. That. This does, dear. Guys, it smells like chili. It smells like bomb chili. But there's potatoes in there. Thank you, couple that was walking along the trail. Yeah. <laughs> They're the meaning of our life. They're our inspiration. bring chili to my life. No, to your wife. I bring chili to my wife. <laughs> um, if you like it spicy, I highly recommend this El Yucateco. Yeah, I said that right. Uh, hot sauce. Uh, we, we've been uh, dabbling in all of them. We have uh, the chili chipotle, the chili habanero black label, the habanero green sauce and the extra, extra, extra hot uh, Mayan recipe of chili sauce. Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm talking about the chili hot sauce though. Um, this is like 11,000 Scovilles. This is 9,000 Scovilles, and these are a little bit less. Um, but they're so good. What else would be good on this chili is, like, if you're one of those lucky people that can eat dairy, oh, like, geez. sour cream, cheese, oh, yeah. yeah, that'd be so good. If we had fake cheese, we'd be eating it too, and fake sour cream, Yeah, we'd be having it on there. But, but that stuff's uh, not necessarily the healthiest stuff, like, this is a fairly healthy meal. So. We're eating chili and you're talking about being healthy. Well, we gotta grow old together. Yeah, we will. With chili! <laughs> Alright, and what a beautiful view. There, let me uh, lighten that up a little because Liz's phone's a little weird. Uh, what a beautiful view we have just sitting here at our, our campsite for the night. Um, it's going to be cold though. 26 degrees tonight? It's going to be 26 degrees tonight and... Uh, we're in a minivan, two people. There's no room for a heater in this thing. Um, I mean, I'm sure I could do some finagling, but this packed to gills are all ready. So uh, we don't have a heater. We just have warm sleeping bags and each other to keep us warm. And that's all we do. So 26 degrees. 
It was 22 the other night and it was pretty cold, but once you get snuggled in, it's fine. You know when you take that first bite and you just sit here and you go, mmm, that's good. It's the yes. You're agreeing with your food. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I like that. <laughs> I always call it agreeing with your food. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye now.